Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're making up another simple yet delicious dish, chili chicken. And it's a perfect day for it because it's a balmy minus 24 outside. So let's get started. I'm just going to kick things off here with five boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cut into three pieces each. Then I'm going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. It doesn't necessarily have to be olive oil, it could be vegetable oil too. Followed by a tablespoon of hot chili flakes, and that may seem like a lot, but after all, it is chili chicken. Two tablespoons of one of my favorites, soy sauce. A tablespoon of brown sugar, just for a bit of sweetness. Two cloves of crushed garlic, just to keep the vampires away. Go ahead and pepper this to taste. I'm a pepper lover, so I'm going to add, oh, I'd say half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, but you be the boss of your pepper. Okay, we're going to go ahead and massage all of the spices into the chicken. You can use gloves if you want to, but you don't have to. Oh, this is just like going to the therapist for the chicken. <laughs> now what you're going to do is snag up some cling wrap, cover the top, Put it in the fridge and let it marinate, oh, I'd say for about three hours. After about three hours, it's nicely marinated. And what you want to do, I'd say for about, oh, 15 minutes before you pull it out, is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius. Our next step here is to line a baking tray with some parchment paper. And we're just going to go ahead and lay the chicken strips on the parchment paper evenly. You're going to have some juices remaining in the bottom of the bowl and what I usually do is just spoon it over the top of the chicken. Slip it into our preheated oven for about 20 minutes. While the chicken is baking, let's face it guys, you don't want to miss a video, so hit that subscribe button. After about 20 minutes, our chicken is beautifully done and it smells and looks absolutely awesome. Before we serve this, I'm going to go ahead and garnish it up with some spring onions. And there you have it, our chili chicken. Now the part I always love, the taste test. Mm, this is so good guys. There's some heat, some sweetness, some saltiness from the soy sauce. I just can't stop eating this. You're going to love this. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and most of all subscribe. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.